All right. Hey, it's Barry and Devin here. Hey, here with another episode of Fin Bones Fishing. Hey, today we want to do something different. We want to come into one of our local fishing shops and uh, talk with our buddy Bobby here and go over some of the different ways or the different tackle you're going to want to use when you're getting started out there fishing saltwater in the intercoastal and your coastal environments um, where you're kind of fishing the river systems for trout, for snook, for um, redfish, different things like that. So um, we're going to cover top water baits, we're going to cover midwater, we're going to cover bottom fishing. We're going to cover um, from a lure standpoint, and then we're going to talk a little bit about live baits. And then uh, I got one tip for you at the end you want to hang on for. This is um, definitely something you want to do, so definitely hang on. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. We'll go do our usual plead for you at the end on that too. But hey, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell. Let's bounce from there, Bobby. What do we got? Okay, so we're going to talk top water. What's the best kind of lure we want to be looking for? So, I mean, everybody's got their own variations on what they like to use. For me, first thing in the morning, always like throwing top water. Two favorite things are going to be a chug bug and a Zara spook. And, you know, different sizes, different colors, variations, everybody's got their own one that they like. Um, I like something more natural. Blue looks like kind of like a herring, greeny. Um, two awesome baits to throw. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I grew up on the Zara spooks, and these things are awesome. They work a little bit different takes a little bit of wrist action, a little bit get used to, but these things are absolutely deadly on the fish. And these have this nice little cupped um, front, I don't know if you can see that, but that pops and pushes that water ahead. Get some fish fired up. Definitely, and then a the little rattle in there so they hear the vibration, they see the movement on the water, so really good there. Okay, so if we wanna go, um, it, you know, top water's getting a little bit later in the day, top water bite's yeah, kinda turned off. We're looking mid column. Where do we yeah, want we'll to go? Yeah, throw some different stuff. One of the best baits throwing docks and stuff in the Indian River. Live target some baits. I like the mullet one, preferably mm -hmm. the smaller one. You know, the big snook and trout, even redfish, they're hiding under the docks. You know, hide, yeah. sit in that shade. Really start to dig that one. I'll show you this one here. This is a killer bait right here. Okay, great. And then um, we're going to mid column with these guys. Yeah, mid column. You can fish this lure boat, but you can fish it, swim it. You know, steady, medium pace retrieve, or you can bounce it off the bottom. And I fish it on eighth ounce jig head. Pretty simple stuff. Mm -hmm. Again, it's good for everything: snook Every trout, one. redfish, jacks. Um, also, even lady go, fish. Yeah, lady fish. Which are fun. <laughs> gulp shrimp. Can't beat those. Same kind of idea: bounce it off the bottom, catch it under the mangroves, skip it under docks. I mean, you yeah. Do it a bunch of different ways, but they got a ton of scent to them. Redfish, tear them up. Okay, so gulps we're going to do a little bit more on the bottom, although you can swim a little bit, but more of a jig style where you're going to just kind of jig up, let it hit, jig up, let it hit. Also can be fished on a popping cork. Oh, absolutely. Forgot about that method. That's that's a really good lethal way to fish them as well. Okay, so this is kind of a good selection if you're going to go out again for tarpon, for snook, or snook for redfish, for um, snook redfish, trout, um, a little bit of everything. I mean, I've got mangrove snapper on these things yeah. before. Um, there's all kinds of uh, fish options that you're going to find for all these variety baits. Now, we're talking something more like in the live bait or like in the cooler baits. Yeah. What are we talking about? Variety stuff on, like off the beach right now, a lot of them big snook are hiding in a trough. Um, you can go to the beach and catch croakers or catch mullet on the beach. Mm -hmm. Before we line those out, snook are crushing. Same thing with tarpon. Um, get them big mullet, cast them out into the, into the surf. and. Turn them loose. Exactly. Or there's pompano, whiting, jacks, um, native salt clam. Super easy bait to take to the beach. Uh, one of his personal favorites. That's right. <laughs> but I got him hooked on. on That's it, um, no doubt. Can't oh, yeah. go wrong with that either. And then for riverside, shrimp. Yeah, live. Can't be, yeah, can't beat a live shrimp or a finger mullet okay. um, in the river. Yep. And I think the salt clam too. When we're gonna do a video on this, we're gonna go whip up on some sheephead with the salt clam too. We'll show you that in an upcoming video. But I know those are gonna be. Just deadly no on those, yeah. Definitely. So uh, we got some spots on that. So, um, so we've covered the, the um, baits as far as the lures. We've covered as far as the live baits, the um, salt clam, definitely. Now, the, the one tip I want to leave you with, and absolutely, you've got to do this. Do not. I'm going to tell you, if you're looking to get into saltwater fishing, coastal fishing, maybe you just haven't fished in a while, and you're like, geez, I want to get back into fishing, but I'm not quite sure what to use. Don't go to Walmart to pick out your lures. Don't go to Dick's. Don't go to um, Academy. Don't go to those big box stores. The, Place you're going to find the best information is a local shop like Strike Zone here on 192 in Melbourne. These guys are great. They spend the time, you know, to take with you to walk you through, you know, let them know, hey, I want to catch trout. Okay, they're going to show you the lures that are working today. 
not stuff that's just a general recommendation, but these are things that guys that are out there fishing now are catching fish with. Um, seasons change, fish hit, you know, fish you know change up exactly. through the year. Yeah. And all of our guys are fishing at least a couple times a week, sometimes almost every day. So at least one of us, probably all of us, has got some sort of idea what's going on mm -hmm. between offshore, inshore, fishing the beach, and we. Love her and everybody's business. And your customers so do in. too, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we hear from our customers too. So come on in and we'll give you the best advice we can. Absolutely. So, hey, if you're in the Melbourne area, rods, reels, fly fishing to offshore fishing, freshwater fishing, coolers, I mean, everything you need. This is a 100% dedicated fishing store. Clothing, we're going to do a um, video on that specifically too. We'll be back to do that because clothing is super important these days with the sun and, you know, yeah. making sure you're protected. So, um, with that, hey, we're going to wrap this up. So, Devin, what do we got to tell all our fans out there? You got to hook up onto that subscribe button, set up on that bell so you can catch our next video. There you go. See you in the next one. Thank you. Cool.